Today, you'll learn the easiest and quickest way to do keyword research for Pinterest so you can uncover the best keywords that allow you to create better pins that rank higher. So let's get started. In order for us to do effective keyword research for Pinterest, the first thing we want to do is go to keywordseverywhere.com. Uh, this is a browser add-on that allows us to do keyword research on Pinterest. Okay, so uh, you, you're gonna install it for Chrome or Firefox. Once you have this installed, go back to Pinterest and do a search. So let's just say we are a landscaping business or maybe we have an affiliate website where we promote different landscaping products, maybe backyard furniture. So let's type in one of our main keywords which is backyard landscaping. Now as I'm typing you can see some keywords from Pinterest that automatically populates right here. So you can see backyard landscaping, backyard landscaping designs, backyard landscaping ideas, and so on, okay? So this is an excellent list that you can use to create pins around. Now, next to these keywords are data points from keywords everywhere, okay? So for backyard landscaping, you can see the monthly search volume is 9,900 a month. Now, this data is coming from the Google Keyword Planner. Now, for Google Ads, you can look at the average cost per click, which is $1.71. You can see the competition score, which is 0 to 1. And if you hover over this graph, you can see the exact search volume from the Google Keyword Planner over the past year. So, excellent graph to look at any seasonality. So, these metrics really help us hone in on the main keywords we should be focusing on, right? So at first I thought backyard landscaping would be a good one for us, but there's actually a better one, backyard landscaping ideas. It has significantly more search volume than backyard landscaping. So we can uh, click on this and continue our keyword research. Now for backyard landscaping ideas, you can see some additional insights from keywords everywhere. You can see, of course, what we saw before, the search volume, which is close to 50,000 a month. You can see some search insights, trend data for backyard landscaping. I like to look at this line graph to look at, again, any seasonality. It looks like uh, people are really searching for this in March, April, and May, which makes sense. You can also see some related trends as well, landscape design plans, front yard landscaping design ideas, and so on. I also like to look at these buttons right here that come from Pinterest. So these are keyword modifiers. So for backyard landscaping ideas, people are looking for ideas for small backyards, landscaping ideas along the fence, on a budget, and so on. So you can create pins that focus on these different topics. You can even create boards that have pins that target these keywords as well. Pinterest also gives you some additional ideas in the search bar. So backyard landscaping ideas along fence, backyard landscaping ideas on a budget with pool, and you can also see the search volume as well. So immediately you know what are the more popular ones looking at this list here which is backyard landscaping ideas with pool and even backyard landscaping ideas with rocks. Now, Pinterest only gives us about 10 or so keywords, but there's a way to unlock even more keywords. So what you wanna do is click on find topic ideas for backyard landscaping ideas. And when you click on this link, Keywords Everywhere will show you additional keywords. So aside from the 10 keywords that Pinterest gave us, Keywords Everywhere actually gave us close to 300 keywords for backyard landscaping ideas. You can scroll down here and look at all of those related keywords. You can look at the search volume. And again, this does come from the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, you can see the average cost per click. This is coming from Google Ads, as well as the competition score from Google Ads. And you can also see the exact search volume over the past year, every single month. And then you can also see the trending percentage to see if it's trending upwards or downwards. Now, similarly to how Pinterest shows you these 
buttons here that have a list of different keyword modifiers. I like to also find keyword modifiers in this list as well. So how do I do that? I just do a control find just to highlight the main keyword and try to see what modifiers I can pull from this list. So small backyard landscaping ideas, that one has a search volume of 6,600. And if you want, you can star these. And when you star these, it will be added to your favorites list. And I'll show you that in a moment. You can see backyard landscaping ideas on a budget, backyard landscaping ideas budget, both of these have a monthly search volume of 1,300. Backyard Landscaping Ideas Arizona, AZ. Okay, so going back to Pinterest, you could see AZ. At first, you might not know what AZ stands for, but it's actually Arizona, as you could see right here. So go through this list and find the ones that you think you can create a pin around. Now, aside from doing keyword research around this main keyword here, I like to go even deeper into the rabbit hole for each one of these search terms, okay? So let's just say we want to go a little bit deeper around a long fence. So when you click on that, you will search for back backyard landscaping ideas along fence. And then you can see uh, the search volume, which is 260. And you can see some related trends as well, like inexpensive privacy fence ideas, fence line landscaping ideas. And if you click on this search bar, you can see the long tail keywords from Pinterest. So uh, backyard landscaping ideas along chain link fence, landscaping ideas for backyard along fence. And you can see some monthly search volume here. And I'm gonna follow that same process and click on find topic ideas for backyard landscaping ideas along fence. So when I click on this link, Keywords Everywhere um, gives me five keywords, okay? So backyard landscaping ideas along fence has search volume of 260. So this list of keywords has that modifier along fence. Now let's go even deeper. So you could even click on any of these links here. Uh, fence line kind of stands out to me. I haven't heard of that word before. So you can click on this and do a Pinterest search. So fence line landscaping ideas. If you click onto the search bar, you can see uh, privacy, cheap. You can see some additional related trends as well listed out right here. And of course, the keyword modifiers from Pinterest is listed up above. So privacy, backyard, simple, cheap, and so on. Now I'm gonna click on find topic ideas for fence line landscaping ideas. Keywords Everywhere will give me all of those additional keywords and it found 14. So 14 versus five for backyard landscaping ideas along fence. So this one might be a better one for me. The search volume is much higher and there are tons of other long tail keywords as well listed out right here. So you can go through here, you can star them, whichever you think you can create a pin on. And once you are done doing your search and clicking on the stars, you can go to the Keywords Everywhere extension, click on My Favorite Keywords, and this will give you a list of all the keywords that you have starred during your keyword research process. I also like to sort this by search volume and see what is the keyword that has the most search volume. Now, if you want even more keywords than what Keywords Everywhere is providing you, you could actually use uh, Pinterest ads, okay? So with Pinterest ads, you do need a business account. Um, in order to get a business account, just click on the drop down on the top right. There should be a link here that says something along the lines of changing your profile into a business account. So just click on that, it's completely free. And once you have your business account, you're gonna click on ads, click on create campaign, and you'll see this view right here. Now what you wanna do is click on the ad group. So we are in ad group details and scroll down to interests and keywords. This is what we want, interests and keywords, okay? We're gonna click on add keywords and we're gonna type in our main keyword, backyard landscaping ideas. Now Pinterest will list out all the relevant keywords and also show you the monthly searches. You can click on add all results. And if you want more solid numbers in terms of the monthly searches, um, you can copy this list and click on the Keywords Everywhere extension, click on bulk keywords data, paste it, and click on get metrics. 
Now, Keywords Everywhere will show you the exact monthly search volume from the Google Keyword Planner for all of these keywords. So this is another way for you to analyze the keywords that are coming from Pinterest. Immediately, I see front yard landscape ideas pop out because the search volume is over 90,000. So I'm gonna start that. Landscape design might be another good one as well. And then the last area I like to look at for additional keywords is Pinterest trends. So click on analytics, click on trends, and you'll see this page right here. Now just type in your main keyword, backyard landscaping ideas, and now we can see some information around the trend for this keyword. So you could see during April, it's the most trendy. I also like to look at this related trends section right here. So simple backyard landscaping, front yard privacy landscaping, and then you can of course scroll all the way to the right and view the additional related trends. So this is how I do keyword research for Pinterest. Hopefully you got some value out of this. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.